template pages are a key concept in Cornerstone. They're, in a sense, irregular pages, but in, and uh, they're built in the same way with module windows placed in the zones of the page, but the content, or most of the content, is not fixed. On a regular page, if you place an article module window, it will tell it which article it would be, or which image it would be in an image module window. Not so in a template page. In a template page, you would do all the same settings, telling exactly how the page will be set up, what module windows go into which zones and in which order, and how they will be specified through the properties of the module windows, but you will norm normally not set which article to show or which image to show because the template page can be used in various settings dynamically. So let's start with just seeing some examples of template pages. So I go into design mode here and in the to toolbox here I have the menu tree and let's see if we have some template pages here and these are the icons for template pages so I have these three so let's check out the article template first I'll minimize the toolbox so this is, let's also check the page properties of this page. In the page type, we see that it's a template page with a template parameter article. So this one is for showing articles, and it will also use the object title in the title of the page. That is, so the title of the article will be put in there. Okay, so we have five specific module windows here. Article, slideshow, article, related links, related documents. So the, the article here is set up, let me see, with, let me check out the advanced properties here. It's all the titles, abstracts, bodies, everything is included. And images, and I've set some top image types, some bottom image types. Social is turned off. No allowing of social features. And that's it. And then I have slideshow. Properties is usage article gallery. So it's specifically set up to use it to show the gallery of an article. Because articles can have galleries tied into them. And here I have one more article module window. That's strange. First I show an article and then I show a slideshow tied to the article, and then I show the article again. Let's go into here and check. Properties. Show advanced properties. Layout. Wow, there's actually nothing included from the article here. When I go to... Not, no images either. When I go to social, it's the social features. Okay, so I show the content of the article here the slideshow over the article here, the social features, that is the rating and the comment and the likes connected to the article, here. And none of these are tied to a real article, so they pull the article from the URL up here, since this template page is set up as a template page to view articles. That's what it will get from the URL here. And it's the same with the related links and related documents, module windows, over here. So, let's go to the My Music page here. And since we're in design mode, we'll get this message that we are in design mode. And since this page uses a template page to show its content, you'll have to go there to do actual design work, which is where we were, the article template page. So, this is a page that uses the template page, the very template page we just visited. So let's go into page properties and see the page type. So the My Music page is not a template page, it's a page that uses a template. 
And here we can, from a drop down, choose all, which one of the three template pages that we have in our menu tree that will be indeed used. And here we have also specifically tied it to the article called The Birth of a Songwriter. So this is how a page can use a template page directly. But a page place called My Music in my menu is not a very dynamic thing. It's a fixed article in a sense. I just wanted to benefit from having defined my layout of an article one single place. So let's check out how it can be used more dynamically. So I will now go to the menu tree to uh, my research. And my research, it's exactly that. It's a page to show my research articles. Each of these research articles are actual papers I've written for conferences and proceedings and journals. And when I go into the setup of a module window here that shows this art, all articles from this article list called My Research Properties, I will see that in the box properties here, page for article display is the book article template. So one of my template pages will be indeed used. So let's see how that works out. Let's go to live mode and let's click on principles, this one, object mining. And it says here, my research and book article is the name of the template. An article is a type of parameter and 9844. So that worked out beautifully. And when I go to design mode, I get the same message that you are now in design mode and this page uses book article template for showing its contents. So just a brief look at another kind because the article template and book article template that I've created for my site are just that. They're for displaying articles. Let's check out the slides here, which is another template page I've made. Let's check out the page properties, page type. It's a template page to show image galleries. Well, let's show object title there as well. I tend to like that. So here I have the slideshow not tied to any specific slideshow, but it, it's properly set up. So the usage here is normal and not for article galleries. So it will be used for showing from the URL here. And here are the number of visible images, playback, etc, etc. Image types. So when I go to, for instance, my first page here, And I click on this one. I get the same message. You are now in design mode and this page uses the template page so I can go to it. Here, slides. And I'm back. And if I go to the front page and go to live mode, you can see how that works out. I click on the photo stack and I'm here. So it shows right up here that I'm using that template page for showing slideshows.